Mount Rushmore. The Black Hills. And Ellsworth Air Force Base, the 1984 host of the Strategic Air Command's Combat Weapons Loading Competition. Colonel Frank Eubank, Competition Commander. This is the only competition of its type and scope in the Air Force. We're very proud of the fact that it's an all-enlisted competition in which our weapons loaders, our aircraft crew chiefs, and our security police forces have an opportunity to hone their skills, uh, to develop and refine new procedures, and then to demonstrate to all of us and to the world the capability that they possess. But the competition doesn't begin here. Months earlier, teams were selected and began intense training to perfect their skills. People have worked hard, they're dedicated, they're motivated, they always give over 100%. training hard and I feel we have a very good chance to not only bring back the Barentine but some other trophies as well. September 4th. After months of rigorous training, the teams converge at Ellsworth. Major General Monroe W. Hatch, Chief of Staff, Strategic Air Command. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of General Davis and the Strategic Air Command, welcome to the 1984 SAC Combat Weapons Loading Competition. Munitions loaders, organizational maintenance crew chiefs, and security police teams compete not only for individual trophies, but also for the best bombardment wing. Finally, the moment has come. The final scores are posted and the winners revealed. Best Organizational Maintenance Crew Chief, Staff Sergeant Holbrook, 28th OMS, Ellsworth. Best Munitions Load Crew, the 93rd MMS, Castle. Best Security Police Squadron, 44th SPS, Ellsworth. And the 1984 winners of the Barentine Trophy for the best bomb wing in SAC. The 28th Bomb Wing, Ellsworth. General Benny L. Davis, Commander, Strategic Air Command. From the first to those who place last in this competition, you're all special. Because you are indeed winners. And I am proud of each and every one of you. The, the competition itself and the training that each of the participating wings have undergone provides the necessary training that, that they need in the event uh, of a real-world situation involving combat-type activities.